Hi guys, Suffolk Hobbit here again, and today I'm going to showcase my Fellowship of the Ring. Um, painted these guys up uh, over Christmas, just gone. Um, had to buy them individually, one by one, off of eBay. Uh, managed to get the Hobbits as a group, but all the other models are all individual. Managed to get them for good prices because these do go for silly money. Um, of course, anything on eBay, any out of production models is going to be uh, quite a lot of money, but. Um, Really, really pleased. It was cool to have the group all together. Obviously, this was an original box set from Games Workshop back when the film was released. You know, worked in conjunction with the film back in sort of 2000, must have been 2000, 2001. But uh, yeah, really pleased them. Quite a few hours went into them. Uh, it's probably only Aragorn that took the quickest amount of time, just because of it's a very simple, simple uh, colour scheme. Because of the films, you know, greens and browns. You know, there's only so much you can do with them. So obviously, still enjoyable to paint. It's a brilliant, detailed model, but. Uh, it's just, just so simple, when you've got brands and greens you get quite a good little rhythm going and, and within an hour you're sort of done, so I was really really pleased with them, but I'll go through, uh, go through them one at a time, explain the techniques, and uh, here we go, so first up, Gimli, son of Gloin, brilliant model, in gaming terms he is a tank, absolutely brilliant, he just slaughters the enemy over and over, fantastic, he's so reliable, good defence, brilliant, but uh, I used... Um, the rule books, uh, games workshop manuals, photos in the film, watch the films, you know, just got loads of detail. I'm trying to make notes as best I can, so I'll try to make them as realistic as possible to the film. I've got a couple of books, I've got an old book here actually. I think this is probably one of the original uh, rule manuals for the Lord of the Rings game, but looks I'd say it's probably one of the first ones that come out. I've got a couple of other manuals as well, but there must be so many different versions of these. But this is cool just to look back, to be honest, look back in time, see what it used to look like, what they were. But there you go, there's Gimli, really pleased with him. Forearm guards, did a nice little pattern, just used a simple bit of uh, two mixes of uh, yellow, just sort of highlight it, nice little gold edging trim all around the sides of his armors and things, just make it pop a bit more. Simple static grass and a few stones on his base. Uh, really, really pleased with him. His hair came out well, axe came out well, a little bit of gold on the axe and things, just to sort of give it a slight variation, but yeah, really, really pleased with him. He came out really, really well, well chuffed. Next up, we've got Boromir. Son of uh, Denethor, Gondor, brother to Faramir. Tragic character, tragic. Brilliant in terms of gaming, absolute powerhouse, I think. Really, really good model, got some awesome special rules. Um, again, same thing come to painting him. I noticed in the photos, Games Workshop went more, more the black theme with his overcoat, but uh, I noticed it did seem to be slightly more blue. Blue, yeah, grey, it just wasn't fully black, so I'll try to make up my own little mix. Paint. can't quite see it in the slight, but it's just a slight tinge of blue there. Put some highlights on, some detail on his uh, undergarments. Uh, made a nice little mixture of some brown and red for his shield. Really, really cool model. Some nice gold highlights on his horn. Really cool. Spent a lot of time on his face and on his beard. Can't quite see it, unfortunately. Can blur to get too close, but it's all there, I guarantee. I'll try and get some nice pictures up instead. But Ligolas, very simple. He's quite easy to paint. I just went for the Overcoat first and then the trousers. Uh, trying to think what the green is. I know it's Dark Angels Green, I'm trying to think the modern name of it is, but uh, there's Legolas, trying to get focus a bit better. Try again there. There he is. Pleased with how he turned out, really cool little model, got some brilliant special rules. Really good little model, really, really pleased with him. Kind of quite nice, nice little gold highlights. Pleased with his hair, it's a nice vibrant colour. Eyes, ears, it all came out nicely, really, really pleased with him. Next up, Aragorn, as I said before, really quick to paint, uh, good model, really cool, loads of detail, yeah, really cool, that one's uh, shoulders, got the bow, arrows, backpack, really good, brilliant pose, really dynamic, just see the sword scabbard starting to come out there through his coat, where's the fog in his coat, that looks really good as well, I've obviously thought about it, it's a brilliant little model, you know, Perry Brothers did a great job with these models back in the day, really, really good, it's a shame they went out of production to be honest. Uh, but it's just very uh, standard model to paint, just the browns and greens. I think the Helm's Deep's more fun to paint personally. Uh, I don't know, I just like the pose, like everything, but yeah, it's Aragorn. Quick job, but really, really cool. And obviously, awesome in gaming terms. The wise man Gandalf the Wizard, Gandalf the Grey. Again, uh, took longer to paint, but simple to paint, mainly because it's just simply shades of grey and uh, blue. But uh, I him when I was at my friend Kenny's house, he was working on semantic dwarfs and undead, I've spent just hours painting just Gandalf, nothing else, just Gandalf. 
that's how dedicated I am. But he's come out really, really well. Really pleased with him. Uh, like I say, many, many, many shades, many sort of highlights. Ten maybe, I suppose. I sort of went over the top really, but it came out well. Worth it in the end. Also, I tried to do some lighting effects. So, of course, in the minds of Mario, when he, he uh, Gandalf taps on the staff, lights up the way to lead the Fellowship. Of course, a nice white light beams out, and that's what I tried to capture here. So a nice white, bright white stone filtering down the staff on his hands and here's my favourite bit, the highlights there on his beard, on the on his hat, on his arms, where the, the light just sort of bursts down to the model. Really really pleased with that, really really cool. So in the front you can see all the highlights there and stuff and that sort of filters off around the side of his uh, hat. I'm really pleased. Did a little bit on his beard, just on the inside of the beard, you probably can't quite see it, but it is all there. But uh, well really really chuffling, really cool model. Quite brooding, almost looks quite sinister in the way his pose. Sort of deep in thought, ready to attack, brilliant model. Great in gaming terms, really, really cool. And finally, last but not least, Frodo and Sam. And Merry and Pippin, the four hobbits. Great models, really enjoyed painting them. Again, quite quick to paint just because of their size. Uh, Favourite model has to be Sam. Just his pose. Look at that. Just he's just little hobbit, no armor, only little swords, and he's charging in, protecting his master, his friends. Brilliant, really, really cool. Loads of character, loads of extras to him as well. Enjoyed all the little cooking pans, all the little extra bits he's got bit, uh, sculpted onto him. Really, really cool. Just so really fun to paint. Really, really fun to paint. Great little model. Uh, Frodo. Going for a blue tinge on his sword, try to make it look like it's almost it's not quite fully glowing yet. I did think of doing what I did with Gandalf and make some like reflection off of him, make it look really like glowing out onto his from his sword onto him, but I decided against it. I thought I'd try and capture the moment where the sword is starting to glow. So that's sort of almost like just humming to itself, it's not quite fully glowed yet, it's, it's not quite fully glowing yet, it's just quite there. Well, it's just like a subtle blue. It's coming kind of really nice. I quite like it. Actually. It pops out quite nice, and sort of just makes a bit of a difference to the model because again, it's quite lots of shades of brown, a little bit of red on his coat. Again, use the pictures from uh, photos and films and that to uh, get some inspiration for it. And then Merry and Pippin, simple, nothing much to them really. Quite standard, sort of simple little poses. But uh, I'm pleased them. Really, really pleased them. They cut really well. Great little models. Really enjoy painting them. Um, it's cool to sort of unite the fellowship as it were uh, from buying all these models individually from uh, eBay sale, uh, sellers and that but uh, yeah, really really pleased I'm looking forward to doing some more battles with them in the future and uh, yeah thanks for watching guys like comment subscribe tell me what you think any chats going always like to hear tactics and tips and advice on painting uh, any questions let me know and once again take care guys see you soon